So I'm Chris Vavra with IBM. I lead our uh, business process manager business. I am not a Watson expert, but we're going to talk a bit of day today about uh, how Watson could be used in the context of BPM solutions to empower knowledge workers. So um, fortunately for me, this analogy has already been used twice this week, so I don't need to explain it much. But I think it goes without saying, while automation is incredibly important, the expertise of knowledge workers to consult and add value to customers is equally important. And an element of how we can enhance that is around cognition. Cognition is really the way that we think. We observe the world around us, we bring together our knowledge and experience, and we're able to make decisions based on that on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, what changes between one person and another and the value that they can create in the moment? Well, it's really expertise or a corpus or a domain of information and expertise of knowledge and experience that they can bring to make those decisions. And what Watson can actually do is work hand in hand with real people working in a very similar cognitive way to provide additional expertise that can enhance and scale what that knowledge worker can actually accomplish. So in the context of BPM, knowledge worker empowerment is incredibly important. We do a lot of automation in BPM, but we do a lot of uh, facilitation and bringing tools to bear to knowledge workers to make them be able to perform at their, at their full potential, and that's what Watson's able to do. One of the key things that differentiates Watson is its ability to understand natural language. And natural language is very nuanced, can be very hard to understand and comprehend uh, what is actually intended or meant. So if you get into industry jargon or nuanced colloquialisms within language, it can be very difficult to understand what the actual intent is behind the information in terms of what it means to be able to use that to make a decision. So for example, if you ask Google, are you smarter than a fifth grader, it's going to tell you about a game show. If you ask Watson, are you smarter than a fifth grader, he'll tell you how he learns and how he is able to become smart over time. So how does this work? There are several key facets related to this. One is the interpretation of the questions that come in, the hypotheses around several different potential answers to those questions, matching those answers against evidence, and scoring those with a series of algorithms. And then it follows up by using learning models to actually take those different potential answers to all those potential questions, and based on the learning, be able to rank, order, and select which answer is the best. So you can start with multiple interpretations of a question, hundreds of potential answers against hundreds of potential sources, against thousands of pieces of evidence, with hundreds of thousands of potential solutions, and then take the learning models and actually balance and combine those and rank order those into a, a good answer. Uses, uh, Watson uses a whole bunch of different algorithms. I won't go into all of them here, but some include temporal reasoning, statistical paraphrasing, geospatial re reasoning, to be able to analyze real text, uh, to be able to make sense of it. Well, there are two key things you have to do to get Watson up and running. You've got to give it a, a massive corpus of information, and you have to train it with answers. Well, so for some of us, we can't do a demo in 30 minutes uh, in, if, we, if we need 18 weeks in order to bring that information and training to bear. So what we've provided uh, a lot for um, our enterprises to experiment as well as ISVs is what we call our Watson Developer Cloud. And the Watson Developer Cloud is hosted on our Bluemix Platform as a Service Cloud uh, that provides developers access to many of the component services and technologies that are pre-configured with a deep corpus of information and learning that can be leveraged by developers immediately. So in our demonstration, we're actually going to take a look at how Watson could be a knowledge worker's coach to help them make decisions in the moment. And we're going to show a scenario that brings our BPM coach UI framework uh, to integrate with Watson personality insights uh, through our BPM cloud. Our scenario is pretty simple. It's a HR recruiting scenario where uh, an applicant will actually provide a personal statement and HR is going to use the personality insight service to actually assess and analyze that to help make a decision uh, around their suitability for the job. So in summary, if you take a look at what Watson really provides is uh, cognitive computing together with human language uh, analysis and uh, algorithms and learning to be able to bring that together to help solve uh, problems to assist uh, knowledge workers. And the cool thing about this demo is you can try it yourself. 
It's a very basic demo that I'll be going through, but you can go on uh, BPM on cloud, get a free trial, go on Bluemix, get a free trial, and actually go try it yourself.